So if you're going through a betrayal, three reasons why she talks bad things to everybody around. One is the worse you look, the more favorable her actions look. If she makes you out to be this horrible villainous monster, then her cheating on you is like, well, of course she cheated on you. We can't hold her to blame. When in reality, usually she's the one to exit and she just has, has to villainize you in order to do that. In order to convince others that what she's doing is justified. In contrast, your actions have to look way worse than what her actions are. And it also allows her to justify what she's doing, which she knows is pretty messed up. Probably one of the worst things you can do to somebody is to cheat on. You'll put somebody through one of the worst pains ever. Next to losing a child, that might be worse. But when your wife is cheating, that's got to be the worst pain ever. I know, I went through it. She needs a favorable outcome in the divorce. So in other words, if she starts putting these stories out here that you're abusive and cheating and all this other stuff, then she gets that outcome in the divorce. That becomes the new narrative. And then as long as you're having these conversations with her about it, it almost seems like it's true, like it's happening. So whenever that happens, you've got to make sure that you deny, deny, deny that it's happening. And it brings her lover into protective mode. So if she starts telling her guy how crappy you are and how you're abusive and everything, he's going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go protect you. And then he'll go and try to like confront you, which is the dumbest thing ever. Don't get involved with that guy. Just freeze him out, get him out of your life. Get a restraining order against him if you can, because this is gonna help you in your divorce. But consult a lawyer, I am not a lawyer. So if you need more, more help, more guidance, if you've been betrayed, you need to know what to do right now so you can feel better, get into your power, become a badass again instead of become this betrayed guy who has absolutely no power. Come find me at genuineattraction.com and uh, my name is Ed Baxter. Peace.